Lesson 355 There is no end to all the peace and joy, and all the miracles that I will give, when I accept God's word. Why not today? Hi there! Let's reflect once more on how we are just a decision away from all the peace and love and miracles we might desire in our lives. Some truths are so simple they seem incredible, don't they? Yet, there seems to be a catch, as we might suspect. But should that really be something hindering us? Let's dive into Lesson 355 and discover its teachings. There is no end to all the peace and joy, and all the miracles that I will give, when I accept God's word. Why not today? Why should I wait, my father, for the joy you promised me? For you will keep your word you gave your son in exile. I am sure my treasure waits for me, and I need but reach out my hand to find it. Even now my fingers touch it. It is very close. I need not wait an instant more to be at peace forever. It is you I choose, and my identity along with you. Your son would be himself, and know you as his father and creator, and his love. In other words, this lesson reminds us that all the joy, peace, and miracles we seek to receive and give in our lives are just a tiny decision away. They are right there, waiting for us to accept them. We don't have to wait for a special moment in the future. And perhaps, we shouldn't wait either. Because to be happy, loving, and at peace, in other words, to be what we truly are, maybe we shouldn't be waiting at all. Waiting could well be just another trick of our ego. Should we wait to be happy until we've reached a certain goal, bought a house, or entered that relationship we've yearned for? Should happiness come only after death? When we go to heaven, the gifts of God are available to us right here, right now. How do we access them? How about starting by simply recognizing them? How about accepting God's Word? And what does God's Word tell us? It tells us that we are the Son of God, but it's as if we are in exile from our kingdom. We've forgotten who we are, our true spiritual nature, and that we are not separate from God. We are part of the divine. Yet, these are just words unless we live them. How do we do that? Let's start by investing consistent effort in aligning ourselves with these truths. Let's remember them, keep them in our minds. As we go about our day, let's keep these truths close to our awareness, even in our daily and mundane activities. The brothers we will meet today, let's observe them attentively they are indeed our brothers. Beyond the veil of illusions that we perceive with our physical eyes, we share the same identity with them. We are all one. How will we treat them, now that we hold this awareness in our minds? And how will they respond to us? That problem that seems to bother us. Will it matter in a year, a day, a minute? Will it matter in the timelessness where our true self resides? How might we see it more clearly, or even resolve it more effectively, now that we can approach it from our place of awareness, love, and peace? Those thoughts that continuously try to hijack our attention. Should we just believe them without questioning? Or can we ask the Holy Spirit to show us another perspective? To see things differently, to respond to those thoughts with love and kindness, yet with firmness, Embracing that truth which only the Holy Spirit can offer us, that truth which leaves us speechless time and again. And finally, our moods, our fears, and emotions. Shouldn't we stop indulging in them? Shouldn't we cease identifying with them, believing in them? Perhaps what we need is to let them go, which might mean simply allowing them to enter our experience without judgment, without suppression or repression. Yet, we can experience them from a place of alignment with our truth and with God. We can ask for guidance, and when we do, we will always receive it. We can align ourselves with our inner true self, and we can do it consciously. We can seek help from higher guidance and open our hearts to receive it, along with the love of God. We are capable of doing all this and even more. 
we might not be able to maintain this state of consciousness constantly or live in it throughout the entire day. But we can increasingly do so, one step at a time, one holy instant after another. So, why not start today? There is no end to all the peace and joy and all the miracles that I will give when I accept God's word. Why not today? There is no end to all the peace and joy and all the miracles that I will give when I accept God's word. Why not today? There is no end to all the peace and joy and all the miracles that I will give when I accept God's word. Why not today? Don't you already feel the peace and joy that this lesson is talking about? Why wait any longer to embrace our inner truth and let it transform our lives? Why not today? Keep practicing morning and evening and remind yourself of this powerful idea throughout your day. Whenever you feel your state of consciousness slipping back into old patterns, remember this lesson and repeat to yourself. There is no end to all the peace and joy and all the miracles that I will give when I accept God's word. Why not today? You're doing wonderfully. See you tomorrow for another inspiring lesson. Quick reminder, we're currently exploring the section What Am I? If you haven't seen the introduction to this section yet, click on the video link that will appear shortly. And if you've been enjoying this journey, consider supporting the channel as we move into 2024. You can do so by clicking on the link that says Hire Me or checking out the video description for more information. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.